Today I'm going to review the mathematics behind the solo growth model. So we're going to look at the solo model here, solo growth model. Let's start with the production function for the economy. The production function y is going to be a function of k. y is going to be GDP per worker K is going to equal capital per worker. A few other key things in the solo growth model will be D, the depreciation rate. And S, the saving rate. So we'll call S the national saving rate. National saving rate. We're going to assume a closed economy. Uh, we're going to have no trade and also we're going to assume no government. So in a closed economy, Y, GDP per worker, is going to equal C plus I. C is going to be consumption per worker. and I will equal investment per worker. So let's start with some of the, the, the key equations in the solar growth model. First one is this. In the solar growth model, Investment equals savings, or we're going to write it this way. Investment equals S times Y. Okay, so first key equation in the solar growth model. Let's go ahead and take this result and plug it into this equation up here. The Y equals C plus I. If you do that, So all I did, I, I have this I here, and I substituted in the savings rate times GDP per worker. Let's take this and solve for C. So another key equation for the solar growth model is consumption equals 1 minus the saving rate, and that's all then times by Y, GDP per worker. Okay, the next big thing about the solar growth model. The change in the capital labor ratio is going to equal investment per worker minus depreciation. All right, so that part right there is just depreciation. The key thing in the solo growth model is that the change in capital is zero. This is defined as going to be the steady state equilibrium. So in the steady state, the capital labor ratio doesn't increase, it doesn't decrease, it just remains constant. So just plugging in zero over here for change in K, and then just setting investment equal to depreciation. That will hold true in the steady state. One other thing that we can recognize is that since investment is S times Y, we can write this result right here. So again, I said from the beginning here, investment equals saving. Uh, so, in the, so in the solar growth model, uh, that's going to be S times Y, so I'm making that substitution. So now we got the basic setup, the solar growth model, and we can go ahead and solve a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with the production function that 
GDP per worker equals the square root of the capital labor ratio. Let's say that the depreciation rate in this economy is 5% and the saving rate S is 10%. Let's start with the notion that the change in capital equals investment minus depreciation. And then for the steady state, that's zero. So let's go ahead and find the steady state capital labor ratio. We want to find the steady state capital labor ratio, which is just K. So as I said before, I can just be re represented by S times GDP per worker. And since Y is the square root of capital up here, make that substitution. And now we can make our other substitutions. S is 0.1. D is 0.05. And now we're just going to solve this equation for K. So let's see. If we divide through by 0.05, We'll be left with this. And then sneak down a little bit. And then if we divide through by the square root of the capital labor ratio, we get this, which will simplify to k equals 4. So we just square both sides to get rid of the square root sign the capital labor ratio is 4. So that's our steady state capital labor ratio. Let's find some other things in this problem. Let's find the steady state output. Steady state output. Okay, Our production function was given by up here, y equals the square root of k. Well we know the steady state capital labor ratio is 4. So plugging 4 into our production function, our steady state output is 2. Okay. Let's find the steady state consumption level. So our consumption we solved for before equals C equals 1 minus saving rate times Y. So we get 0.9 times 2 or 1.8, the steady state consumption level. And let's get the steady state investment level. Let's squeeze it in here. So steady state investment investment equals the national saving rate times GDP per worker. Saving is 0.1. We solve for y. So steady state investment equals 0.2. And then in a closed economy, y equals c plus i. So we can double check our math. It's 2. Okay, y is 2, so we're okay. So that's uh, the mathematics behind the solo growth model. I hope you found this video helpful.